Hello everyone, welcome back to YK Reviews. For today's video, it's going to be the third installment of the Child's Play movie, the end of the Child's Play trilogy called Child's Play 3, so let's get into it here. So with Child's Play 3, it's essentially the third movie of the whole Child's Play trilogy here. So with Child's Play 3, it takes place eight years after the um, Child's Play second movie, but in like real life time, it, it was literally released nine months later. So once again with the opening sequences, I love how they brought Chucky back to life. Of course, it wasn't as strong as like the opening two sequences, but I like that little like drip of blood being poured into like the mixture of the plastic that gets created to the dolls itself. So I really like that little aspect of it. I love how like you've got like this hand because i'm guessing what they did is they um got like plastic melting and just reversed it so like the little hand being like created i loved how they like made chucky be brought back to life and that little opening sequence plus like the next scene when you have got this like the little um interaction with like the ceo and like the workers lawyers i'm not sure like, who they are deciding if they should bring back the good guy dolls because of all the drama that happened previously and then just eventually deciding on doing that and presenting the ceo with the good guy dolls who we know is going to be chucky so this part of the opening sequences i really enjoyed i loved like chucky playing around with the ceo because you've got the ceo in his little office watching tv playing golf and then chucky using toys to like mess around with him putting marbles on the floor for him to slip, driving a police car to like nearly hit him in the head, having two, two good guy dolls sitting on like the chairs near his desk, like seeing the little like one liners that these good guy doll good guy go good guy dolls do. And eventually just doing the whole strangling once again, like chef's kiss to this. Like I love the sequences and like him him going back to like his roots as like the legs for strangler killing the um the ceo and just the lines that he comes up with afterwards it's a brilliantly written sequence and a brilliantly written opening act that i just thoroughly enjoyed about this so eventually like he uses the computer and figures out that where andy is so then we get andy and it's like a theme with the first three movies is you have the opening sequences of chucky how he was created how he comes back to life and then the next sequence is, is you've got Andy and like what he's been up to. So in this particular movie in Child's Play 3, Andy's now in like military. He's just having a lot of trouble with like his foster care and like just causing a lot of like issues. So then they send him to like military school. And that's where we get introduced to like all the characters in the, in the movie itself. You've got the wimp of the military camp called Whitehurst, who's basically just like the step over of the camp you've got like the bully of the camp named Sheldon you've got the female character who's gonna become the love interest of Andy there you've got the barber who I'll definitely get into um, later on there so you've got the whole character's introduction you've got Tyler who is the one that discovers Chucky and then you've got the whole like, military camp um, scenario like the whole background of that so you get introduced to all of that um, very early on. And I know and I've read like a lot of like issues with like Andy being recast. Like for me, I personally didn't have any problems with it. Like I understand, I, I wish we could have seen like the real Andy, the one from the first two, but it's just, I know they wanted to go with a different direction or have like Chucky going after a child and all of that circumstances. So for me, I honestly thought he did a fantastic job in this in this movie and I'm not really fussed that they recast him so once we get introduced to him and then they send him to like the barber's chair and like having him get his hair cut I found that the barber was so creepy and funny as well like we'll start off with him then I guess because you've got him basically cutting everybody's hair but he just goes around throughout the whole movie well, the parts that he's in just going around looking at people's heads making sure that it's at a certain length if you actually look in the 
background of his actual um, barber's office. You see pictures of all the people he's cut and like little locks of hairs against the wall. You see like there's one particular scene when they're in like the cafeteria and he literally comes up and like touches people's head like this to make sure it's the right length goes and like if it's not the right length he tells them like he sets up appointments for them so it was just so creepy and hilarious and just funny to watch it is he's just such a weirdo but once we'll, we'll speak about his death um, like once we get to that part of the movie but i just had to like give that out and we also like get introduced to like tyler who i got mixed feelings about like it's like sort of up and down because like throughout the movie he's tolerable but then there's certain parts where he's just like an annoying little kid and like once he sees like the good guy doll like he become like on tv he then gets sent to like the headmaster i'm guessing they call him where he's told that he has to deliver this package where we eventually find out it's chucky so instead of sending it to andy he decides to take it upon himself and like keep the doll and he's just like unboxing it charles not sorry charles chucky reveals himself and once he realizes that he doesn't need andy that he can transfer his soul to this kid tyler he starts doing the voodoo ritual but then gets interrupted and that happens a lot throughout the whole movie is that he's trying to do it but then there's interruptions there's tyler like thinking that this is all a game and wanting to play different games that i really found entertaining i love like tyler's like annoyance with chucky and chucky's just getting frustrated that one in itself was really funny to watch but now that chucky is has infiltrated the military camp itself you start seeing like these little seeds planted he starts going and killing this garbage truck driver in the most brutal way and once andy realizes chucky's infiltrated it you have this little back and forth this little subplot with um andy and shelton when she, like i said shelton's like the little bully who's trying to like demoralize whitehurst demoralize the female character demoralize um andy and then once andy realizes that chucky's there he's trying to like fight chucky only for shelton to take the doll and andy going into like the his room and their little like back and forths i don't mind shelton i thought he was a fun character he was a bit of a uh, douchebag but he wasn't like overbearing or anything like that so i liked i liked his um his betrayal and like once he realizes that chucky got stolen when he actually escaped he's like punishing the cadets making them go out in like um in the dark in like the middle of the night holding their guns up going around in circles trying to like have everybody turn on andy in itself but while all that's going on you've got tyler still playing games with chucky chucky just trying to get the voodoo ritual going and, and what i really enjoy too is that in one particular scene like once all of this is going on and like um you see ty you see um tyler and like the female characters like going into the office because she's got a crush on andy she's trying to get her fire up they like put makeup on chucky and then the head teacher comes and like the funniest part is like when chucky reveals himself to the teacher only for the teacher to have a heart attack and chucky's reaction just was so hilarious oh you gotta be fucking kidding me like that's what i really liked about chucky as he's like developing in each movie his one line has just become more quirky and really fun so him just seeing the head teacher having the heart attack and dying and just his disappointment in that was so funny so then now like you have the lead up to the third act now you've got the war games going on in the military camp and with chucky what he does is he replaces the paintballs with like, actual live rounds but actually before we get to that before that whole sequence comes you finally go into the part where like the barber he basically cuts whitehurst's hair sends him away he finds chucky and then he wants to ch cut chucky's hair for some odd reason even though it's a doll but then chucky gets the best of him and like cuts his throat and kills him once again with an open one liner on um on the barber itself and whitehurst sees all of this and for some reason he doesn't go and tell andy even though andy told him about chucky and all of that stuff but he decides to keep it a secret and so then they go off to like the war games they go off to do that and andy realizes that tyler still has chucky and he's trying to warn him so he's going off by himself you've got 
Tyler with Chucky looking for Andy. Then you've got the plot with like the war games. And, and once Chucky manipulates everything, captures the um, the female character, you see one of the um, one of the opposite people shoot the live rounds on Shelton, killing off Shelton. Which I actually, for me, I was gutted that they did that. I like I said, I enjoyed Shelton's character. I didn't feel like he deserved to die, and so it was definitely a shock that they like he got killed off like that. But then even more of a shock and even more sad of a death was when Chucky threw a grenade and you've got Whitehurst, this dorky character who gets bullied by everyone, jumps on top of the grenade and blows himself up. It it reminded me of Steve Rogers' Captain America type of vibes when he did that. Get away! Get back! So that was really like gut-wrenching and heartbreaking. So like everybody's just in shock. You've got um, Chucky kidnapping Tyler and taking him to this carnival. And so you've got Andy and the female character, the Silver, now going after it. And I didn't like the whole carnival um, settings, the fair setting. That for me, I didn't really like enjoy. I liked once they got into like this um, roller coaster, like the, uh, this um, inside part of it. But the, the scenes where they're looking for the security guard, they're looking for like Andy like that. The scenery just, I didn't enjoy it as much, but but once they did stop getting inside, once um, they go into like this skull, top of like a skull tower, and Andy basically shoots Chucky, but that whole sequence was just so menacing because there was one particular part where Chucky's face gets sliced off and you just have half his face skin off it was so terrifying. Like in this particular one, like Chucky once again looked terrifying and amazing and so then you have just the whole third act the whole sequences with half his face sliced off looking terrifying and so you're at the top you get andy like shooting him before like before chucky does the voodoo ritual to transfer his soul to tyler and once again like chucky gets goes through hell in the third act just to try and get like what he needs but eventually falling to like this metal fan just slicing him into pieces and I really enjoyed this movie it's a little bit a step below the first two child's play but I still had a great time with this third one would I recommend it yes because it's definitely a great ending to like a nice trilogy there are some of the things that I would like definitely change about it but in terms of like overall I really had a good time with this movie and it's something that I really really enjoyed because as I mentioned like the opening sequences, the kills, like the interactions with Chucky, the one-liners, it was really really well done and well written so for me I highly highly recommend this, I recommend the whole trilogy in itself, the first three child's play, really really enjoyed it and really really recommend it so let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about it. Did you enjoy the third one? What are your thoughts about it? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos here. I'll be posting every single um, Chucky movie from Child's Play 1 as you have seen um, previously, all the way up to Child's Play Chucky in 2019 plus a TV show. So keep an eye out on that along with so much more different types of horror movies so definitely subscribe definitely hit that notification bell and hit that like button if you haven't already but again thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for listening this is my care reviews